Hello guys and welcome to X Target Productions X with me Ryan and Jacob and welcome to the Kino the Toucan Glitch questions and answer video. This is just a video to um, well answer all the questions we can that you guys have left on the Kino the Toucan Glitch video back we, when we published it back over two years ago now. So hopefully this will give you a little insight of this. Now the first question comes from a uh, fan slash a YouTuber. What exactly do you have to press? when the zombie is grabbing the board? Well, you press triangle. Um, I'm pretty sure it's in the other video, but we'll, we'll just um, say it again. Um, you press start, obviously, when you're on the board. You wait for the zombie to pull it, and when the zombie um, then is about to pull the board, you press triangle, and doing this, you should kind of glitch through, and out the window you pop. Um, you can't be host, i just quickly go through it. You can't be the host, you have to be able to press triangle. Um, I have it on occasion where I've only pressed star, but that's probably just fluky really. You know, you make sure you can press triangle. You know, at the start of the game, just press start. If you can press it, then you can, you can do it. Um, if you don't know who's host, just let everyone try. If the game glitches, if you did the glitch, it means you're the host. The host definitely can't do it. Um, that's pretty much it. Does this glitch work on Xbox, PC, PS4 or Xbox One? Um, well, it probably doesn't work on Xbox because you normally get banned for doing any glitch on Xbox. PC is tricky, you know, because the, in the PC community you know, there's like a load of modded lobbies, it's kind of different. I guess it probably hasn't been patched because it's not really the same as Xbox 360 and PS3. Um, PS4 and Xbox One, the probably is definitely patched because they're the newer consoles, and I'm guessing it's either um, in it, you know, with the game when you download it, or they've just um, done a patch straight away. Plus, adding to your comment, they could probably they probably don't actually have the game on the Xbox because oh, it only came out last year, and this game is quite old. Next question. Does this glitch work on split screen? Uh, no, it definitely doesn't. Because the way the glitch works is um, the host, you know, you connect to the host and the host connects to the servers. If you're doing split screen, then, you know, if you <laughs> basically, when you're doing split screen, if you're doing it solo, it won't work because you're both the host. Also, when you're doing it multiplayer, you can't press start. You, know, you can't press triangle in split screen because um, you're both on the same connection. It, it's just it's complicated. It just doesn't work. <laughs> it, we've tried because it would be awesome to do it, but you, you can't sadly. It's just one of those things. Um, next question that you guys have constantly spammed our comment section was is with what are our PSN names? Now, if you guys read the comments, you'll see that we've actually added our comments and I added our peer names in the comment section, and it is actually on our channel. Okay, but we're going to say them anyway. If you want to add me, Ryan, you can do. I'm Pazer13 or Pazer13, depending on how you say it. So you can add me. Uh, Jacob is big capital X, X and lowercase X. Jacob Rich lowercase X capital X. And if you want to add Elliot as well, it's Family Guy slash Nut. Okay. But it's capital F, capital N, and um, capital G as well. Capital G. Yeah. We'll put all these names in the, the description below. Please check it out and please don't comment saying what is our PSN names because we've told you. Okay. Also, adding on this, please don't spam us constantly with please add us on PSN. We would love to add you on PSN, but really, as you guys are, are fans, you should add us instead of we adding you because you're the one watching our videos, you're the one wanting to play with us, not us play with you guys. If you go, what we know, if you guess, if you get what I mean. If you guys want us to add you for a specific reason, please do say that you guys want it. If that's to do with modding, if that's to do with zombies, if that's to do with GTA. Well, we don't have any mods. Um, please do say why you want to add us, not just say that we just want to add you because we want to. Okay. That is the questions that we had on the Kino Tukin glitch specifically. Um, there probably was a lot more 
I'm on a channel that we haven't actually said in this video, but we will do it in another video. We'll do like a whole Q and A. We'll probably just do a series yeah. of Q and As for the videos we've done. Yeah. Mainly the most popular ones we've done, where you know, may, probably glitches and then anything other that's popular. Looking back at the data for the last uh, five years, guys, that we've done YouTube, um, a lot of you guys specifically want us to do zombies and Call of Duty because that's what you guys like us to do, and that's what we're probably good at more than we are at Borderlands, more than we are at GTA, more than we are at like Resistance 3 and Saint Row. Obviously, we'll still play those games and still produce content for those games, but mostly for Call of Duty, as you guys like that. Um, obviously, Call of Duty as a whole is obviously a brilliant franchise, a brilliant game, but obviously that has limitations because obviously. Lots and lots of YouTubers do it, lots and lots of YouTubers produce content for zombies and normal gameplay. So obviously our gameplay obviously has to stand out as well as their gameplay does. So obviously what we do is what we like to do and what we enjoy doing. So the zone. So obviously we have to try and make our videos more eye catching, more like dynamic. exciting and dynamic for you guys to watch it. So that's why we don't do as much on Call of Duty because everyone has already done that and it's literally just well, it's just burning. boring when you, you see a video and you just you look down the page you've just got 20,000 videos of the same video it's like a saying getting blood out of stone it's already happened you can't do it so there's no point in doing a video on it of course with this glitch though you guys probably have watched it so many times we've just decided to upload it again if you've known what's happened you know, we've been hacked uh, we've been down because of certain things. It's been a real bitch. On our career on YouTube, we've had ups and downs. Okay, we've had to start again like three times, but obviously we're now back. And we're back for good, and we're back stronger than ever. You know, this channel that we're currently running now has never been so popular than we had good. before. You know, this video has got over thirty-six thousand views. You know, this video on our old channel reached probably about twenty thousand. So we smashed our last view count and we've smashed our last view count with all the videos put together on this video. We smashed our subscriber count and we're getting paid and we're with Machinima. So with the hacking, okay it was a downer, but it was also a bit making us stronger. So meaning that we came back stronger than ever and determined to make you guys... And more than that, over the years we've gained better experience and how to, well, kind of edit stuff and what to do really. And also with also the new technology that we have, you know, we've all got new computers, we've all got new laptops, we've all got new technologies, which means we can edit more and produce better videos for you guys, so that you guys can have the good content that you guys want to look at on our channel. Also, the reason why we haven't done many glitchy videos anymore is kind of because games have been cracking down on how you know how many glitches are in a game. They're more professional, more or better at finding these glitches before the game comes out so finding glitches and kind of doing a video on them is extremely hard now and then but yeah old games they're still popular so we're probably doing some more stuff on older games and newer games because it's a lot easier to do glitches and find them it is indeed plus, for example black ops 2 yeah plus i know like big companies like quality they do have massive teams and they do pay a lot of money for gamers to come in and test their games to the max to make sure they hasn't is pretty much glitch free. Obviously the occasional one does slip through like this one does, but obviously this one was to do with the game because they couldn't patch this one because it's the window where zombies come out. The way um, they made the window, it, they couldn't really patch it because of the way it's done. They would have to change it completely. Which means taking down the whole of the map and re-uploading it which will take... Well they wouldn't have to re-download it, they would have to change every single window for every single map and then yeah. they'd have to redo it. it. It would probably just be a massive hassle and it's not really much of a problem. Yeah. You know, because most of it just get freaking bollocks. Obviously this is now with that in mind, that's what they did for Black Ops 2. They redesigned all the windows so that you couldn't stand on boards and you couldn't get All the windows are outside the window, so, so that coming outside. So obviously there is cons. And there is positives, but also there is disadvantages, and so I guess that's where the game market goes nowadays. Because obviously, games are always evolving, you know, the better graphics, better processors, better everything, you know. And when we started gaming back back years ago, <laughs> with the basic basic graphics, it was like, wow, this is amazing. But well, my now, first Call of Duty was Call of Duty Three. <laughs> now, it's like I don't know, seventeen, not seventeen probably eight to ten years on 
and it's the gaming market has actually changed completely and it's probably changed for the good plus obviously you know we have optical Better. optical rift out in the summer that will change the game market completely with virtual gaming and that probably will be a massive market because obviously people were buying that and playing games as you're actually in the game obviously there still will be pc gamers there still will be xbox gamers there still will be ps4 gamers but maybe less on ps4 and xbox ones but I think everyone needs to revolve with the gaming market itself to make sure that we are at the top of our game. So that's what we are going to be doing, and that's the way with the way forward. I think. Well, actually, I remember now. There was one other question. There was a question saying that we the video was too fast when showing the glitch. As you will see in this video, or previously, you will see that I've slowed it down to show you. Um, it, it's pretty straightforward. So you, you know, as soon as the zombie grabs the boards. And it's about to take off. You press the start of triangle. You would press, should avoid press start. And um, I just did that because I thought it would be easier to show you. you know, it's easier to understand if the video is slowed down, just so you can see when I did it. And there was another thing uh, near the start where I got stuck on a zombie. That can ca happen occasionally. Uh, it's just something stupid, really. All you have to do is kill a zombie, and you'll, you'll get out perfectly fine. Um, one other thing, in the older video, the actual um, glitch video, there was a click where I fell through the map. That's really uncommon, so don't worry about falling through the map. Uh, one thing that happens when you do fall through the map is you constantly die. <laughs> um, so my death record in um, the game got to around I think 15 probably. The amount of deaths I had was about 179, I think. So you'll, you'll just die constantly, but you don't actually properly die for some reason. The game just bugs out. So if that happens, you, you can either stay there and do jack shit, or you can quit the game. <laughs> Plus, yeah. your friends can't revive you because they can't well, get to where you the are. Map. So just keep them you're pretty much screwed when that happens. Plus, luckily, you're not host, so you can leave never. So. Also, the bad thing is you can't rejoin because of Black Ops One. You can't rejoin. Well, Black Ops Two, you can. Which I do like. But actually, I, don't, I do like and I don't like. Because obviously, if you're at a higher round and your friends join you, and they get your like record for it, they did all your, you did all they the hard work and they get everything for you. What happens is if someone joins you, it gets rid of your record. They don't record it. Oh, I didn't know that. That's also, in Black Ops Two, if someone was to leave yeah. mid-game, it would um, wouldn't record it. It would just delete the record of it. That's, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's why it's really bad. That's annoying. Anyway, Advanced Warfare is coming out. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare out in um, the in November. We're looking forward to it. We're definitely looking forward to it, as we are going to Eurogamer this year, guys. Obviously, we've spoken about this at the end of the video. We will do a video on Eurogamer specifically, but just so you guys know, we have booked tickets. We are going on Saturday. Um, we will be there from like 11 till 7, but we're only going to be in the building from 2 o'clock because we wanted to spend some more time with you guys outside. Um, if you're going, please come and say hello to us. Please come and uh, shake our hands and say hi, we're your, we're your YouTubers, we're your fan base and such. We're more than welcome to see you guys. I know I've had a few of you comment and ask if we're going specifically. We are. We're going. That's when we're going. Please come and say hello. Okay. Um, Have a good time. We have got um, some t-shirts and some merchandise on the way. It's being produced. It's being designed. And we'll tell you when it comes out at the end of the summer and it's out for you guys to buy. We might actually take some of us that you guys can have if we give away, maybe. Fingers crossed. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, this video has been very useful and you guys have learnt from the previous video and how to do the video specifically the way that we would t tell you. Hopefully the questions that we've answered, you guys know a bit more about how to do this video and how to do the glitch. Are you video. not confused anymore? And hopefully that you guys now can add us on PSN and won't have to keep spamming us to add us on PSN. One other thing, if you have any more questions, we're more than happy to answer them. It's our, remember, it's our job to kind of do as you ask. If you want a question answered, we'll do a video on it. Or would, if it's just a one question, so like just loads, we'll just answer you, reply to your message. Just anything you want to know, we'll tell you if we know it, of course. Just comment in the comment section below. 
obviously if you guys have asked a question I have actually replied back to you personally myself and said thank you for uh, commenting this is the answer and uh, thank you and keep watching uh, we will do that for any question that you ask even if it's an email even if it's a tweet we'll still reply back to you whatever which way you um, connect with us or communicate with us we will still answer them the best we can just make sure that if you don't understand something just ask we're more than happy it doesn't matter what video or game it is just, if you don't understand something just just ask us we're, we're, we're no most stuff yeah <laughs> we're very hardcore gamers <laughs> we're just sad <laughs> we just sad to play games a lot and we get paid for it <laughs> no but seriously if you don't understand something just, just ask because it's always a bummer when you have you play a game and like i've just played a whole game and i don't understand it because always some games i have that and i'm like well have i just done that that's pointless so if you ask and you find out an answer why you did that then obviously it, it helps because then you can carry on playing the game and like wait that answer answered that so now i know how to do this etc etc so more than that i've i've watched videos myself that some, on some glitches because I, I love glitches for zombies because sometimes they're fun getting out of the map and looking at the map outside is is quite fun like fire if you, you got a sudden map on that it, it's so detailed outside the map but some videos just don't explain it well enough. And if if something is wrong, you know, if it, if it's not slow enough and you don't really understand what I'm doing, just say and I'll I'll get the video, I'll slow it down and I'll just do you know a little thirty second video of it slowed down that makes it easier to understand. Cause that's our goal, guys. Really, that's our goal is to make sure that what we tell you um, in the video content itself is what you want to see. You know, because there's no point having a title and going Call of Duty glitch. And it completely, completely different, and that's just showing you do the glitch or out the glitch. Nothing to do with the specifically for the glitch. That's what we've tried to do. We've tried to show you how to get into the glitch, show you what's outside the glitch, and answer your questions as well. So that's pretty much what this video is. Okay. And one other thing, the area I'm in in this glitch never go over there because you can't get out, and when you're in, you you kind of die most likely. The point where I am right now, the zombies can't get you, but it it doesn't help. Because you, you can't actually do anything. That's it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbyes. Goodbye.